Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, sat in the uh, UES 591S vehicle this afternoon. Um, a midweek cheeky, chappy update. I've just had to nip down to the bank and the post office, so um, rather selfishly, I thought I'd get the uh, Triumph Stag out for a bit of a run. Um, scratching the itch, I think, as someone once said. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, a little bit of an update this week, and uh, just about to start it. Let's hope we get going, and uh, let's have a little bit of a uh, buddy up on the Triumph Stag uh, for a midweek special. <laughs> and as our local community officer disappears into the background, um, I'm just about to uh, start up the car, uh, noticing that the uh, choke has already been used, so we're warm enough now as a an outfit. So um, hopefully I'm just going to start it up. Fingers crossed we go first time from go. So make for, sure for the fuel pump or uh, pumped up you have to wait for tick 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 to stop that's the fuel pump getting up pressure in the boot and uh, here we go fingers crossed wish me luck oh, oh yes <laughs> oh yes <laughs> well you just can't stop smiling with a noise like that can you you really can't Sounding very neat, clean, purring. It's a joy to behold, isn't it? What wonderful engineering when it's working well. It's not work. So uh, let's go for a spin round the block. Happy days. Okay, mirror signal manoeuvre into drive. You feel it kick into drive, release the handbrake, as they say, and mirror signal manoeuvre. We've got a couple of cars coming up behind us so just want to make sure they're clear. There we are. Off and away. Traffic jam. It's a good start isn't it? Harry the Stag. And um, one of the things you notice when you're driving the Stag is just how responsive uh, the car is. The steering, uh, power steering is really something else akin to stuff you'd find in modern day cars, I think. And uh, certainly being a gentleman of um, six foot two and uh, maybe a little bit more than I should be in terms of uh, size, uh, actually it's quite a comfortable, comfortable drive um, and um, keeps up with modern traffic as well as being very similar to modern cars. I'm really pleased with that. It is idiosyncratic, it is a, a 1970s icon, and so with that in mind, um, it does attract attention, which is really great. You get lots of lovely waves, um, which is all good. And I'll just have to do a quick three-pointer and um, get into reverse. Again, all very good maneuverable uh, maneuverability. Um, automatic box is very cool. Um, three gears just takes a bit of getting used to compared to my day job Mercedes which was about seven automatic gears I think um, this has got three as we know and goes right up to the top end of 100 and whatever if ever you could get that far I've never been that fast in this one but um, interesting uh, how it uh, kicks in and kicks out drops in drops up drops down as appropriate so um, very very pleased about that and spring not too far around the corner a bit of blossom out now and then doesn't do us any harm a long old winter and we'll all be grateful for a bit of sunshine in the roof down in due course. At least that's the cunning plan. Just listen to that V8 verb it is just good to die for isn't it? It really is. Fantastic noise. And the car's going really, really well. It's um, great to see. A little bit steamed up at the moment. We had a bit of a water leak at the weekend, so I've got to sort that out. I think the, um, the gap here, the rubber here is gone, so I need to replace that and maybe look at one or two of the um, door seals as well. But aside from that, it's um, a really great car. 
and you don't have to be going that fast, which is what I like. It seems a lot faster in these cars. We're actually way under the legal limit in terms of miles per hour. Um, and uh, the engine sounds pretty good. Okay, so uh, just arriving home now. It's been a good little midweek trip out. Uh, any excuse, bank, post office, building society, uh, random cups of tea, or in these uh, rather challenged times, loo rolls, would you believe, are in short supply. I'm assured there's loads on the uh, on the shop shelves, but uh, I don't know what it's like where you are. <laughs> anyway, we're all, uh, all set to head home now, and uh, back to base, successful trip out. All good. All right, guys, um, happily arrived safe at home. Engine's still going nice, uh, stag sounding really sweet. So I've had my um, fix of Triumph Stag for the middle of the week. Hope that's helped your uh, stag uh, desires wherever you are. And uh, appear to be leaving a bit of a mark on the uh, gates here. So um, I'm gonna have to clean those up or end up in big trouble. Um, very evident who did this because uh, as you can see that's a twin exhaust that happens to correspond with a twin exhaust here. Even though it's a V8 burble I think the missus will be a bit miffed. So I'm going to have to work on that. watching the channel really appreciate it and uh, lots of comments coming in and uh, challenges that you're facing it's all really good to share the experience don't forget to follow us on facebook we've got Ari the stag facebook group uh, now so you can apply to join that and uh, join us and uh, share experiences with other like-minded triumph stag owners um, as ever we'll be back in touch at the end of the weekend i expect and uh, meanwhile thanks for watching once again and we'll see you online on Ari the stag very soon all the best guys have a great week. Cheers for now. Oh, yes, fantastic. <laughs>